please use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. These are all of my social media accounts. Enjoy the video! Hi everyone, it's Aquila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'll be giving you a tour of Layla and Adrian's brand new house. If you haven't been keeping up with the roleplay series, they're both off to college and they're there a little bit early for a summer program. So with that being said, let's get started. So this is what the front of their house looks like. And across the street, we have a house that I like to call a set house. So we have the exterior built, but there's no interior. Just so the plot wasn't so empty. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. So when you first walk in behind the door, we have a storage area and we also have a place to put your umbrellas. Then there's the staircase leading upstairs as well as a little seating area. Their house is pretty small just because, I mean, they are college students. It's just the two of them here and they don't need that much space, but I was still trying to make sense of the space that they have. So that's why this is the seating area, but I'm sure they'll be spending most of their time in their room. Now let's head to this room. So here we have the dining room. So I made a custom bench so they could have like a little breakfast nook area, and I think it's really cute. There's also another bookshelf in the corner just to take up some space. And there's a TV on the wall in case they want to watch it while they're eating. So that's it for this room. And now if we head to the back, we have the kitchen. Again, they're college students. They're really not going to be cooking a lot, I'm sure. They'll be having a lot of takeout. They have all the appliances that they need. And there are a few little decorations on the shelf. And then on the opposite side, they have their sink and refrigerator. There's also a door that leads to the back, but we'll go through that later. Okay, so now if we go through this door over here, this is their restroom. So of course there is a sink, their toothbrushes, soap, tissue, a blow dryer, and a straightener. Right next to the counter, they have a washer and dryer, which is very handy. And then across from that, they have a toilet, a trash can, and above that, there's a shelf stacked with towels. And then in between the washer and dryer and the shower, they have some cleaning supplies. And last but not least, we have the shower and bath. I really love the way that this restroom turned out because every space can be utilized. I think I did a really good job with that. And that is everything for the downstairs. So now let's go upstairs. Just to take up some space, there's a console table with a few decorations, but that's really boring. I'm so excited for you guys to see their room. A lot has changed since you last saw it. When you first walk in, of course they have a closet and inside there's a mirror, some roller skates, there's a poster up there that says it's okay to not feel okay, and then there's a wardrobe with some clothes on a rack right in front of it, and up top, there's just a bunch of storage boxes. And as you can see, the bedroom has changed a lot. They used to have the loft bed with the desk underneath, but because the desk is already there, I didn't know what to do with the rest of the space, so I decided to make custom beds instead, just so we could fill up the entire room. Let's go to Adrian's side first. So as you can see, his color scheme consists of different shades of blue. So here's his bed. He has a few trophies around his bed. There's an open book. I love this window right there. There's an alarm clock, which I don't use often, but I feel like it really makes sense here. And then above his headboard, there's a cork board with a few little pictures on it. There's also a remote for the TV and a lamp just in case he wants to read or study at night in his bed. Here we have a Black Lives Matter flag and I really like this a lot. There's another picture that says it's strange but I don't need space from you and then below that 
there are some more clothes, a storage bin, some of his laundry, and now we can move over to his desk. Everything here is pretty self-explanatory. Of course, we have a laptop, there's a smaller TV, and below the desk, he has some books. Now, moving over to Layla's side, I love it so, so much. Their beds are exactly the same, but I did use the heart sculpture as a pillow, and above her bed, she has an alarm clock as well. There's a heart mirror, some books, some tissue, and then down below, there's an ottoman where she can sit and do her makeup and next to that she has some blankets and some books now moving over here we have her little laundry hamper some flowers just to brighten up the room and this is her desk all of their clothes could not fit in the closet they both definitely overpacked so we just have some more clothes over here this is a desk organizer inspired by yummy cookie as always she has a ruler her calculator some books this is what her cork board looks like and then she has her laptop a speaker and then underneath that she has a little folder organizer and a trash can. So that's it for their bedrooms and I absolutely love them so much. I'm really happy with how they turned out. And I didn't forget, now let's head downstairs so you guys can see the back. I mean, it still looks the exact same, but for those of you who haven't seen it, you might wanna check it out. Okay, so we made it to the back of their little house and as you can see, it's literally the exact same, but we have a dumpster where they can throw away their trash and they have bikes, which are really cute. They could take bike rides together or to the college campus because it's not far from here. Oh, there's also a power box. And this sidewalk leads us all the way back to the front of the plot. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong.